Welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Twilight Bay. It's an 8x12. Pretty sure I posted up the 6x8 study for this a month ago or so, um, and I'm pretty happy with the way the painting turned out. I kind of had in mind uh, doing it as a print, but um, uh, I just don't think it's gonna work out for that. I'm gonna be, uh, you know, putting it in a gallery or selling it or something like that um, instead. And uh, but you know, we try, we try these things. In fact, it's taken me. Uh, I, I have uh, issued a, uh, you know, limited edition print this year, and I had some some pretty good success, especially given like you know, I've been pretty lazy about getting it into more venues and. Um, but the few venues I got it into were doing well with it, and uh, I've been trying to, to hatch a partner piece, and um, I have two, I think, that are going to make nice partners. One especially so that I just finished, that's, uh, I think it's called Coastal Twilight or something like that, but anyway, the ones that I actually do as prints, what I probably would do is put the uh, long form videos up on my... Uh, website for the people on my mailing list to check out. It's been a while since I've done anything for uh, for those folks and um, they, they, you know, they need something to, to look at. It's custom, you know, just for them. Um, and Twilight Bay was almost one of those, but I thought, nah, nah, we'll just, we'll put it out there for the peeps, all the, all the normal regular peeps on the YouTube. You're <laughs> you're better than normal regular peeps you're you're my peeps and uh, god bless you thanks for hanging out anyway uh twilight bay is inspired by um the uh the local coast around where i live here um you know new zealand has got a lot of uh coastal uh areas in fact um even when you're in the center of the country i don't believe you're more than 120 k's from a beach somewhere of some type so it's a lot it's a long skinny country with a lot of beaches and a lot of coast and um, and uh, we enjoy it we like it and uh, it's beautiful in fact some of the most beautiful beaches in the uh, world really and so I've been sort of inspired lately to do more of that kind of thing um, this painting was keyed off of a yellow scheme that was intended from the beginning and um, I think it succeeded pretty well in that regard. <laughs> Pardon me, getting a little bit of an allergy today. Don't know to what, probably some pine or something out here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was good enough to, to make a larger painting uh, from the study I did. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, just not feeling it as far as a print goes. So um, I do love the painting and I think it's quite nice, quite successful. Anyway, today is uh, Wednesday, April 4th. We're already zooming into April. It's uh, well into fall out here, and you guys in uh, the States are uh, probably overjoyed to be getting uh, into spring now um, from your winter of discontent. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and it's actually a beautiful fall day today here. Really nice. Temperature's still kind of, um, not hot, but warm. Warm enough to wear shorts. And um, I've been in the studio this morning. And uh, really what I'm after today is uh, I was going to be doing a bunch of past masters. In fact, I did I did two. I did one that was a, um, a study after a, a Ralph Albert Blakelock I'm quite happy with. That was a 5x7. Actually, three. I'll take it back. Um, and then two that were Ines, one which was a 7 by 10 of a, um, my favorite Ines painting. I've talked about that here on the channel a bit, and, uh, that'll be, um, I'll be, I'll be putting that out on the channel. I don't know, probably we'll wait until I finished all the other past masters, so you're probably about, uh, two months out on that. But, uh, you'll see it when you see it, and, uh, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's really, really happy with the way it turned out. In fact, I'm... So much so, I'm thinking of going and having a custom frame made for it. Yeah. Uh, 
the other one I did was a little Anessa second stringer, I would say, but still a very nice painting, nice guy. I know I talked about that on the channel. And the Blake Lock is just this yellow, it's just crazy yellows and stuff. And uh, really, really got a lot out of doing that study after the Blake Lock. Really just, you know, I, I think I've started out being quite restrained as a painter, but more and more I'm getting... I'm getting more uh, in, into the color, like this painting we're doing right now, you can see here, it's all keyed off of yellows and I'm fully embracing the yellow. I'm not even in the uh, realm of your standard blue-green uh, landscape here. And uh, it feels great. And uh, I, I was just thinking about some, uh, I got a couple paintings back from a gallery today and I'm looking at them and they're okay. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm so sorry. Uh, they're okay, you know, but I was just thinking, oh, what if I, what if I glaze that with red? What'll happen then? <laughs> yeah, you had your chance. You had your chance in the gallery painting. Now you're going to get glazed red. <laughs> then I'm going to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> uh, well, this is, this is the life, let me tell you, you know, just figuring out, um, ways to improve, ways to make the paintings more interesting. I'm always moving, always shifting, changing. Very gradually though, it's like the seasons almost, like from one day to the next, you don't see a difference, but two or three months go by, you, you do see a difference, you know, the days are shorter, uh, it's colder, you know, what have you, things do shift, they do change, but I'm not as into dramatic radical changes. Now you can see I just glaze this thing, I glaze it with yellow. Now one thing about that yellow, when I do the yellow glaze like that, it was already fairly yellow, but I really wanted to sock it in. And uh, then you'll see in a minute I go into the tree area with a bit more of a burnt sienna. Uh, now the uh, burnt sienna is transparent, uh, transparent red oxide, uh, or transparent earth, I think, earth red, I don't know, it's from Gamblin. Uh, yeah because that was just maybe, no, they didn't want it as yellow. I still wanted it keyed off a yellow tone, but uh, also you can see when I do glaze with the yellow that it takes all the blacks and it knocks them back because the yellow, that's a Hansa yellow medium from Gamelin, by the way. Not really a glazing color, but I do glaze with it all the time. And what it'll do though is it'll take your blacks and it'll make them lighter because it's semi-transparent, it's not completely transparent, uh, which is okay, it just gives me a chance to restate the blacks, it's not a big deal. And it all, also does, I think it contributes to the overall tonal quality, so I don't mind. I don't always glaze exclusively with uh, transparent colors, that is my, um, my one exception, really. Um, I mean, I wouldn't glaze with, say, yellow ochre, which is too opaque. Uh, with yellow ochre, I do some scumbling though quite a lot, which is, you know, the uh, to, to maybe push something in the, in, the, in the background a little bit, you know. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, Past Masters, I just, I had like 17 or so selected and I'm just clicking through and like, uh, this isn't inspiring, this is not inspiring, so I said heck with it. Because these uh, these first two I did were really awesome. I really loved doing them, and I really felt like I got a lot from it. And I don't, I didn't feel like the need to just phone it in with some random uh, tonalist painting from the past, a study of one. So um, I've uh, I've got my folder there at work, and um, and I'm gonna hunker down and I'm gonna make sure they're excellent. And probably most of the rest, I might do a few five by sevens, but I wanna throw in more seven by tens and things like that. Um, so that's the mission this afternoon. And uh, because I wanna have it there ready to go when I grab a board, cause I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like uh, it's time to get into the uh, master studies again. And uh, it's actually, it's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for me because it helps push my work further into into places that I wouldn't normally go. It's the best way I know of to improve. Um, otherwise, I tend to just kind of, you know, uh, stick with what I've been doing. So 
this is a way for me to shift out of that. Anyway, see, we're getting close here. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, go to my website, landscapepainter.co.nz. Check out my stuff over there. And I'll be back real soon with another video. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble.